Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 4 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add in the furniture. We even added the stairs and then the entertainment area. Now we're gonna continue working on this. Um, what I want to do is to add floor onto our uh, level one or first floor. So here we're here at architecture and then now click on floor. And then from here, we could edit type and then duplicate. And then here we could set floor number one. So name it floor number one, click on edit to change the thickness. I want all floors to be 200 millimeters. So I'm going to set it like that and then click on this layer, which is the material. From here, I'm going to change this to a stone finish. So I'm going to go here and then look for stone and I could use one of this so I'm just gonna use this polish apply okay and then okay and then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on pick lines and then from here I'm going to click on the interior face of the wall the reason that I'm doing this because I don't want anything to be seen at the outside part of this wall because once we go to twin motion it will keep on flickering because there's an overlapping of of models right here so that's one of the reason but usually floors are connected to the core of the wall meaning the foundation the the hard part of the wall so it depends on uh, the structure of the wall because in north america uh, our wall are consist of wood um, framings and those kind of stuff some parts of the country or some parts of um like for example Europe or tropical countries most of the time it's solid um, concrete so now here I'm just to be safe so that uh, once we go into twin motion everything is not fl flickering and nothing nothing is overlapping so here we're just going to put everything like that so if you go, you want to be advanced um, and then if you want to change some of the floors in this area you can do so so here I'm gonna click on finish and then now it's on level one I want to show you how you can quickly change the flooring for example if you want to change the flooring into the powder room for, just for an example so that uh, you can uh, do it only if you want to um, what you can do is you can do it go over here so for example you can go over here and set it up as another floor so here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around this and join so this is the hard part though so you're gonna set another floor 
and then another floor again for this spot which will be kind of um, hard but most of the time it's a proper way because if you select the floor again and if you do a construction you could edit all the materials right here from the exterior part to the interior part of the floor so you can set that as concrete and then you can put tiles those kind of materials here you can do tiling as well so whatever um, you want as your material but actually there is a fast way of just changing the face of it so I'm just gonna undo what I did so this is still a completely just one floor so now I just undo it and then I'm gonna show you guys what I usually do to just make it fast for the design phase only so click on modify I'm gonna use split face because we're just going to edit the face of this and then after that I'm gonna use my line so every time you see this yellow line right here it's not that visual but you can still see it you can see that there's difference there what you need to do is that's the end or the boundary of this face so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click here click there click there click there and then just click right here because this is the edge we don't need to go over or else it will show a warning sign so now if I click there I could click finish I'm gonna change this to a different shade or consistent color or realistic just to see that now I can select only on this one now to change material only for this area we can now click on paint and then from paint let's choose something so here we could choose this the tile and then click right there you can obviously see that it changed from this one to this one but if we see on 3d it only change the face of that not the whole thing okay so if we go down it's still this material but as you can see it highlights where the materials is um, the meaning the the one that I'm telling you guys is the face is basically for for this one we have multiple face we have this face which is what we are seeing and then the face on the other side or the sides this is one face this is one face and then we have this face as well so how about this one we have one face right here one face at the back on the sides and below those are the faces of one of this wall and then we also have it right here so we're just editing one face of this floor which is this face okay so now hopefully I explained it properly and clear enough that you can understand so that's how you can edit a material by using this method it's the easiest way of doing that you don't need to keep on adding different floors for each of one of this you can just use the face material split face material so even here or even in the kitchen 
you can change the materials from here which I'm gonna do again I want to change the materials from here so I'm gonna click on split face select the flooring I'm gonna change this so that everybody can see select here this is the boundary I think hidden line is better this is the boundary I'm not gonna touch or I'm not gonna put anything from the boundary lines so don't put any lines from there and then here so now we could create uh, or add uh, different materials on this so as you can see I didn't put any line onto the yellow line or boundary lines only onto this line here telling Revit that this is the only thing that I want to split and then click finish and then now go to realistic and then here I'm just changing it to realistic so that I could show you once we click on paint add in a different material which is maybe usually we could put la uh, tiling here but let's put in hmm what should I put so we put this one vinyl ceramic tiles there we go so we have a ceramic tiles and this is the vinyl composite tiles so at least we could I could show you guys that this is all change okay so I'm happy with what we changed there and then now what I want to focus is um, adding the doors so I want to go to architecture and then or go to insert um, because if we click the door right now which is DR short form we have the basic door that we have here but this door doesn't have the knob or the lever level leveler for the uh, door knobs so uh, that's why I don't like adding this and plus it's it looks very uh, simple so I'm going to insert load family go back to the main go to doors residential and then here I like to add this one for the entrance click on open I usually just put 1500 by 2000 press OK and then after that we can add it right here you can type in DR if it, did, it didn't um, appear but you can just add it like that so I'm happy with this now let's add in the basic um, door that we're gonna use that has a knob so still on under residential I'm gonna use this single or we could see a different look we have the basic right there so I'm gonna use this I haven't used this five panel uh, what I usually do is I load all of them because as you can see we have a closet right here we could use a door if we want to or a sliding but now I'm just gonna load everything press OK it's just saying that you're loading all of them do you want to continue yes I am and then door it started with 300 which is very small so now I'm gonna put around 
750 by 2000 2000 because I want to maintain the height that we have here it's also 2000 so I'm just gonna use that 750 by 2000 I want to add a door right here so that we have access to the laundry so here I'm just gonna add it right there and then let's add a door from the outside as well because I will have a small walkway right here going outside here but it will be uh, gated as well so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna add it there I'm also gonna add a door right here so I'm gonna add it for our powder room and then we're going to add a different door which I will provide on the part one of this video so check part one description so I'm gonna add it's either a sliding door right here and then these are all um, windows and we could add windows right here as well to showcase our kitchen so I want to press escape and then escape again so here is the name that of the sliding door that I'm gonna add so I'm just going to drop it right here and it will upgrade so just look for that sliding door I'm gonna provide uh, two links one is for the regular Revit blocks that are provided by Revit and then the second um, link is for the Revit blocks that I use here that are extra so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click it right here and then from here I'm gonna edit so I know it's gonna be difficult but I'm gonna click on door I'm gonna add it from here for now because this is the biggest wall that we have um, I don't know if we could edit from here so I'm just gonna edit from here for now I want to see our um, our width here so I'm just gonna add so it's gonna be 4755 so I'm going to put a 4700 so that it will be um, nicely um, tucked here. So this sliding door, I don't want any inset on our dim dimension. So zero, I'm going to edit. So edit type. So sliding door height. I'm going to maintain the 2800 because I want it to be floor to ceiling and then the width of the sliding door so I want it to be I think um, 4700 with a uh, 5500 remaining and then now I don't want any gap right here zero zero and then zero click apply make sure this is checked so that everything is symmetric and then here press escape click here again and then pick a new host so we could just change it from here now we could just click it right here and then use our arrow key to move it around and then if you want to make it open um, you can just click here check check handle as well and then the symbol so now this is open and in order for us to see everything make sure that it is on fine so the handle is there okay so yeah I'm gonna sh just gonna delete this we don't need that anymore so I'm gonna stop here for now and continue on the next video 
Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.